famine and poverty are always the major challenges faced by much of the population since we depend on agriculture for our livelihood. The effects of malnutrition, HIV AIDS, and now COVID-19 plus other diseases common in third world countries are the major causes of death for many, especially the young children. Greetings and best wishes from the Catholic Diocese of Machakos in Kenya, Africa. My name is Reverend Bonfas Nduva, priest in charge of Mission Cooperative Program in our diocese. The Machakos Diocese is one of the largest dioceses in Kenya. It has 83 parishes and 1,200 mission churches. The total population is 2.8 million, of which 1.2 million are baptized Catholics. Our diocese lies in a semi-arid area where annual rainfall is low and unreliable. The weather this year has brought unpredictably heavy floods which destroyed all the crops in the farms. Prior to the floods, we had invasion of locusts in most parts of the country. Drought, famine and poverty are always the major challenges faced by much of the population since we depend on agriculture for our livelihood. Having no clear policies on health issues from the government of Kenya, the effects of malnutrition, HIV AIDS, and now COVID-19, plus other diseases common in third world countries are the major causes of death for many, especially the young children. Due to this, my dear people, the Catholic Church in Kenya has a unique role in the lives of the Kenyan citizens. At these moments of COVID-19 pandemic, life has become very difficult for us all in the world. However, we are touched by the generosity, kindness, and love from St. Agatha Parish for giving us an opportunity to request for your assistance even at these difficult times. For each of the past several years, I visited the United States on behalf of my diocese to make mission appeals. I was warmly welcomed at each parish I visited, and I am disappointed that I am unable to personally greet and talk with you this year. Due to the effects of this pandemic, many dioceses have been forced to cancel their mission appeals. We therefore amply make this appeal to you in your generosity to help us do the following for the people of God in Machakos Diocese. We want to continue with construction of a primary, elementary school and a high school with boarding facilities for orphans and needy children for education is the best gift you can offer to an African child. In educating them, we are empowering and helping them to transform themselves, their poor families, the society, and prepare them for leadership. We want to pay tuition for the needy children for education is not free in Kenya. We want also to maintain four of our orphanages for children orphaned by HIV AIDS. Due to the prolonged droughts, many people walk long distances to get water. The water is not clean or healthy for consumption. Through your help, the diocese will continue drilling wells to provide clean water for our people. The diocese also runs one major hospital and maintains 21 group homes for disabled children. Through your help, my dear people, we will continue putting a smile to the, these physically challenged kids. We want also to continue providing rehabilitation programs for street children. With COVID-19 pandemic, this is becoming a great challenge as we continue to reach out to the most in need amongst us in the diocese. And that is why we are reaching out for your help. On behalf of the Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Machakos, Right Reverend Norman Kingo Wambua, Machakos Diocese representative in states, and all our faithful people, I once again express our gratitude to St. Agatha Parish for your generosity. May the good Lord shower his blessings upon you and the entire church in the United States of America. Asante sana. That means thank you very much in our language.